Jesse, the DJ. Hi guys, welcome to my channel again. Jesse Yapa Kamakoidwa, the AKA the DJ. What's popping, my people? Hey, manze two weeks ago, sikuwa ni energy. Home ilikuwe menipeleka wa mbiu. Kukohoa na ayo. Okay, kukohoa yangu badu ujesha sayi. Badu na kohoa, lakini ile umbali. Manze, if you know here, manze karibu sana na pinu. Natuwa sawa ki subscribe, manze. I love you people, manze. And thanks for all you supporting me. Sawa. All day fans of Jesse, man, they was popping. Hey, man, they now appended. It's been a minute, man. They, hey, weekend it look what busy my events now. So, hey, hey, hey. So me, I was lucky. Actually, I won't say I was lucky. Juni look what I find a job, bado. So, nili nili attendi ya be bold, sendo. But I was working. So imagine what's when you work, work on a work your day, your Saturday. Na wakenda kupiga sherehe. Manze hizo events zilikuwa zimeweza. Manze kama uendangi zi events. Sijui mbono uendangi. Go out, interact with your family manze. Sawa, space ina kuanga. It's a free space. No one will judge you. Lakini kulikuwa na moja li redewa. Yeah. Nasikia moja li redewa. Manze kama muli redewa poleni sana. Eh, manze alafu kama muli redewa. Musibebe wa soe wa event. Musibebe event organizers vibaya manze. Sawa, so, jota mini event organizer. Na imagine to kiredua. So, I just have to shut down everything. Just abruptly to jugave me ingili. Sindo, eh, manze, take heart, support them, just understand them. Sindo, eh, manze, we are family, manze. Eventually, zivi tuta, toto buwa, tuta pata freedom. Ama ni aje. Eh, manze, leo nataka tuangilele about breakup. Yeah. How to move on? First and kurudi soko. <laughs> Lakini iyo tam misi pendi bede ati ogo rudi soko. Uta ogo rudi soko pate nukimu na indere uko suju na indere nini uko. So guys, how to move on after a very painful uh, breakup? Kwa liku nile breakup tamu. Asijui. Lakini how, how do you move on? I just have a couple of points uh, to help you move on from your breakup. Maybe uko zile za mi uyu msemi ni kata. Lakini sijui mkana zeshi bila ye. I'm so attached to her and everything. Uh, first thing first. Um, you need to love yourself. Uh, kitu ingine you have to accept that. Uh, si kile kitu nye unataka itende venye unataka. Sawa. Eh, sometimes ni ngumu sana kuachilia to let go yeah it's so hard hata mimi nimeshiji pata kwa hiyo situation but you just accept the situation you love yourself and move on sawa so, so i came up with some points yeah so if you have more points mnaweza add hapo kwa section hapo kwa comment section sawa watu wangu eh manze so point number one, allow yourself to grieve the relationship it's so much allowed. Msa si kuambia ti sasa unalia juya hii. Ama ui mseno wanafanya usilale vizuri. Ui sasa ndi onani apana. It's okay to cry. It's okay to to grieve. Sawa. Yeah. You'll get angry at some point. You'll feel sad at some point. You'll curse that person. Wish them bad luck in life. No, no. It happens. Sawa. Eh, lakini take time. Where to grieve to. No one should ati arakisha yu ati. Unashindango kilile ui mse. Mm mm. Wacha ni wambi kitu. Unajua uzuru wa kugrieve ni moja. Once ume grieve, iyo kitu ime kutoka. You'll never look back again. You'll never look back again. Uta songo ki songo. Just don't avoid the situation. Allow yourself to grieve. It's okay to cry. It's okay to talk to your friends about it. It's okay to feel lonely at some point in your life. But eventually, baby girl will be okay. Things will fall back to normal. And will bounce back like nothing has ever happened to you. Sawa. Number two, get rid of painful reminders. Sawa, eh, maybe uko na picture yako umiframe hapo kwa nyumba yako, maybe simu yako iko na picture zake kwa gallery, maybe kuna vitu alikubaia, ukiona kila time unashtuka una tu, ama una feel vibaya, your, your emotions are triggered, sendo. So, if you have something, if you have any items, ama anything that triggers your emotions, ama inakufanyo si move on, just give them out. Yeah. Kuna wase, kuna wase uwa na heal differently. Kuna wase wakiziona, wako tu sawa. If you're that person who is not comfortable seeing them around, then this was them. Ama give them out. Donate them. Kama ni kiatu ya likubaye, unafilingi apana, ni kionei kiatu ina nikumbusha ngaye. Peana, kitu iko kwako kwa nyumba, ama ikuwe ni saa, ni kiatu, ni nini, na alikuwa mekupatia, ama mekubaye. But every time you come across that thing, it triggers your peace of mind. Donate it. Give it out. 
always say that we are okay we we mourn differently we grieve differently sindo after heartbreak sindo lakini kama unaona ukikutana na hiki kiatu ama ukibai kiatu unaanza kumfikiria sana na feelings zina kwanza saa mbona liniacha sijui nini nini give them out donate kama ni hiyo kiatu patia msi hata si beshti yako juta una beshti yako amevaa ana tu patia tu mse kwa street chukua hiki kiatu nimekupatia uja tupo uja choma sindo ni venye uh, staki kukukumbuka ni show mia kutosha. Usikae na kitu yenye da kukumbusha ex wako. Kama unajua ni kitu inakumiza, sweater nini, whatever, whatever thing that you have, give them out. That way you're moving on. But sasa ukikuwa tu ukiva soto unasema tu ina nikumbusha suji ex wangu, suju ukiva kofio kwa zile za ina ex wangu. You'll never move on. Okay, there are people who move on. There are people who move on, but for you you'll never move on. You'll take ages to move on. Number three, and follow them on social media. All social media platform hata kama mmesema mtakuwa mabeshte and follow them first until you heal and follow why do i tell you to unfollow them utakuwa ukiona kipost vitu maybe yako kwa raha kwa na msimu mwingine ita trigger peace of mind utaanza tena ku feel vibaya si ndio you do this for the sake of your peace of mind and for the sake of your mental sanity uh, just block them ama not even necessarily blocking them and follow them we heal differently when you say ma so utakuwa ukimona kila time ako na wase ama kila time anaji post amebambika na maisha utakuwa ukili feel vibaya kwa sababu you're not part of the happiness sasa they have moved on you've not moved on so hata kama umeambia na tutakuwa my best one follow to kidogo u heal ukisha heal your process sote kisha ukwe tu poa follow them back sawa and bounce back sawa i'm not here to say at you si muongeleshe usifanye si juu block hapana I'm here to talk about your peace of mind. Don't keep a tab. Don't keep a tab. Don't stalk them. Unaona? If you guys have common friends and follow them too. Ju watakuwa ki post pamoja so utakuwa ki feel vibaya. Why are you even keeping a tab on them? And follow them kwanza. Heal after me heal. Follow them. Kama utakuwa sasa good to go now I'm back now. Follow them. Point number 4 avoid negative self talk. Yeah avoid negative self talk kuna ile time umesha break up na mselfu kwa zile za ama mimi mimi nilikuwa mbaya so mimi ni mtu mbaya mimi i can never keep a person unaona uanze kujiambia hata never love me stay pendwa stay patana na msi nitaka peke yangu unaona avoid such stuff kumbuka tu that is life such is life people love each other they break up one minute you guys you love each other the next minute you guys are strangers You're not the only person when you have a heartbreak. I'm not the only person when you share heartbreak. There are so many people wako kwa process of heartbreak. Kuna watu wali heartbreak before wewe, kuna watu wata heartbreak after wewe, kuna wenye wako kwa process of heartbreak. So you're not alone. You're not alone. Just avoid this negative self talk. Sawa? So, yeah, you're very beautiful. It just didn't work for both of you. You deserve better both of you. Of which ata ata umkisha break up eh? don't even talk ill about your ex ama kumuanika ama nini it wacha nisikudanganye unajua ukianika mtu ama uanze kuongelelea msevi baya hata ile time mtafikiria tunaweza rudiana nitakuwa nikikumbuka uh, by the way you were attacking me you were doing 1 2 sindo eh, so hata chances zetu za kuget back itakuwa ngumu na hapo ndo wasi wengi wao realize Ukiachana na mtu usimwongelele vibaya. Hata avoid mabishto wenyu ku take side. Si ndio usiende kumwambia mimi mi, unaona nani mbaya, unaona nani mbaya hapana. The relationship was between two of you. Hakuwa na that party kwa hiyo relationship. So why do you want people to take side at nani unaona ni mbaya, sijui nani si mbaya? Avoid hivyo. Avoid kuanikana. Unajua hiyo kuanikana hata ikusaidia hangi. Yes utanianika alafu Ati let him utataka to get back together. You know chances zetu zitakuwa very minimal. Like usheni anika sasa. What is secret? Keep it secret. I mean hata tuki hata tuki break up. Keep us private wanze. Keep us private. Sawa. So, that way baka una, una move on. That way hata una heal. But ukishindanga kila siku unashinda ukiongelea likes wako kila siku alinifanya sijui amesema sijui nasikia ananisengenya sijui nasikia nini you will never move on you will never move on avoid those people who talk about your ex when you are around avoid uh, negative self talking about yourself yo yeah. sawa yeah, that's that's how you move on na ukipata wasi wanakuja kukwambia kila siku kusu ex wako sijui sijui ex sijui ex achana nao 
they don't love you. If they love you, they will care about your peace of mind. They will care about your emotions. And they'll never tell you that you are ex mahali. They will never do that. Another point, find comfort during this uncomfortable time. Yeah. Remember, uh, in a relationship, uh, you, your partner was your comfort. Maybe you've gone out there, you had a long day, rough day. Maybe lecturers maybe family You'll go back home, uh, talk to her about what you're going through. She'll listen to you, maybe even give her a shoulder to lean on. But right now, that comfort isn't there anymore. So what do you do? Find comfort in something else. It could be your passion, something that you like doing, maybe cooking, adventure, cycling, swimming. Yeah, find comfort in something else. Another point, find confidence. Yeah, find confidence. Watch and one to break up in a fanyanga confidence level like when the chini kabisa. Some people tell self-esteem you in a chini kabisa. Uno na when you are worth, you'll never get someone to love you. I mean, uto na jichukianga. Maybe una jiangale una sema, maybe I was too big for her, maybe I was too tiny for her, maybe I was too dark for her and everything. Uno na, so una pata confidence level like when you in a chini. Baka una Unogo pa kwa approach wa se, kuongelesha wa se, unona. So, ukijipata kwa kwa situation manze, find yourself a skill to do. Sawa, that is the time to build yourself, collect yourself, um, do what you do best, shine, shine, shine. Someone along the way will see you, will spot you. Boost your confidence by finding something new to do, maybe a new hobby, sawa. Yeah, that's how you boost your confidence back. My last point is prepare to move on. Yay! Yeah, prepare to move on. You can do that. After first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth point, the seventh point now is prepare to move on. Now you're ready to move on. What do you do? You just don't dive into a relationship like, what? Sasa nime heal, nime, nime oga, sasa narudi kwa soko. No. Take time to self-reflect first. Yes. What do, what do I mean by that? Um, take a notebook. Just check your previous relationships, why they failed. So, why did they fail? Then after that, what qualities do you want? What, quality, what qualities are you looking for in a partner? So, that way it will there to your next relationship. Remember, even the worst heartbreak can teach you something. It will really teach you something. It will give you some points. Angalia zile zilikuwa deal breaker. And when you're moving on, have what you want in mind. Just don't go there blindly. I could work with you. Maybe you could betray, you could cheating, you could na that part wana ingililia, you could na issues, mobs, na happen. Through that, you'll have the qualities you want. Then write down the qualities you are looking for in a future partner. After you've analyzed the qualities you're looking for in a future partner, stick to the points. So, if you find someone new, tell them what you want. Tell them what you want. And come away with your quality, manzeni unataka, don't settle for less. Don't just settle for less. Sawa. Eh, I hope I've helped someone. If you guys have more points, you can comment down there, manze. Share my link, subscribe. Until next time, manze na wapenda. Adios, manze.